I'm Chris Hanchett. I'm here today with Nathan Wilson. We're from Republic Manufacturing and we have the RBX 250. So tell me a little bit about the specs behind this baby. So this is Republic's newest centrifugal blower. Uh, this is a drop and replacement for an RB2000, RB2400. But the difference is that this is the result of constant development over the last six years, where it's going to be more efficient, more durable, easier to service, just all around provide more value to the customer. So when I look at this from an efficiency standpoint, tell me a little bit more about efficiency. So the impeller on this is designed with cutting edge software. What that gives us is 80% efficiency across the impeller itself. What that translates to to the customer is about a 30 to 40% reduction in power consumption. There's gonna be less energy going in. You've got smaller wires, smaller motors, so your initial install goes down. But then you also have less heat generated by that inefficient turmoil inside. So everything stays cooler up in the blower. That leads to increased reliability, longevity, it just means your shop's gonna be a little bit cooler and quieter as well. So there was something about grease and reliability and this kind of stuff, explain that to me. Yeah, uh, the Republic blowers are permanently greased bearings uh, to keep maintenance down. But when you have grease, every time you increase the temperature of the grease by 15 Fahrenheit, you're essentially cutting your life in half. What we've managed to do on this is decrease the temperature of the bearings by at least 45 degrees across the board. So we're getting eight times the grease life as we used to. We're also using a special grease formulation that has some PFPE oils in it, which are so, sort of like a liquid Teflon. It means that they're not gonna oxidize, they're gonna last a lot longer, they stick to the bearing better. So serviceability, let's, uh, let's break this off. Let's pull the part off here. So we removed the filter. And I know that this can be configured for pressure or for vacuum, so kind of go into yeah. that a little bit. On this model, on the inlet, what we have is something very similar to a Marmon flange that allows us to use a single V-band clamp to attach either the filter canister or we can put an adapter for a six-inch ANSI flange or a five-inch tube connection. So you're holding an impeller for the RBX 250. Actually, that's for the next generation RBX 150. Tell me a little bit about the software and what went into designing that. So when you're designing something that's aerodynamic, like an impeller, you're actually working inside the physics, which is essentially chaos theory. And you need to find a way to predict where each individual segment of the air goes. It's extremely complicated. So we use a software called ANSYS CFX. It's a CFD, computational fluid dynamics software. And what it does is it statistically maps all of the flow through the impeller so we can figure out where we're adding power, and how the behavior is gonna result. It allows us to get a very accurate prediction of our performance before we ever put a tool to the metal, which gets us the opportunity to do a lot more testing and really refine the design without spending as much time and money up front. So we're standing behind this uh, big mill. I know we made a big investment. This mill was just under a million dollars to install, buy, get up and operational. Why do we have to have a tool like that to make something like that? Because the shape of this has to be so complex to control the airflow, we can't just cut it in one pass vertically. We have to get something that can machine in five separate axes simultaneously. On this impeller, each individual point on the blade is touched by a ball mill as the machine swings through. It's fascinating to watch. And that ensures that we get the control out of the impeller that we intended when we designed it. Nathan, walk me through the technical aspects of the RBX line. Sure. Uh, the most obvious change is the shape of the volute. What we've done is, as the air comes off the impeller, we've progressed from smaller to larger, which conserves the angular momentum of the air as it spins out. That prevents losses and gives you more efficiency. All the energy the impeller puts in comes out the outlet. Inside there is obviously the heart of the machine, the impeller itself. What you can see is three impellers. We've got the 150, we've got the 250, and then we've got a larger one here. Uh, we're covering a broad range of flows from 500 CFM up to over 3000 CFM. So you can serve a lot of different applications. And then what keeps the impeller spinning is the bearings that it's set on. We're using super precision bearings, hybrid elements. And the unique thing about it is that by diving into the physics of how those are arranged, we've managed to allow the bearings to carry all the same load with less stress on the raceways. So we're getting eight to 10 times longer bearing life than any previous product. Now the industries that we serve for this is we'll go into medical, food and beverage, pharmaceutical, CNC manufacturing, and chemical. Well, what are some of the applications that we do in those industries? Uh, because this is a blower, 
it's right between a fan and a compressor. Anytime you need thousands of CFM, but only three or four PSI, this is well suited to the task. If you're trying to hold something in place for CNC manufacturing, that can be your sheet good. For bottling, you can be holding things to the conveyor, or you can be doing lightweight pick in place if you need a lot of flow through a porous media. Uh, we hook that into the vacuum and get great, get great performance there. Uh, for systems where you need some pressure, whether that's air knives to blow things off, level coatings, dry or clean a product, or whether it's a chemical system where you need to be uh, moving air into a combustor or moving a vapor from point A to point B, uh, the higher flows that you'll get on this versus a compressor uh, give you better performance, but the higher static pressure compared to a fan allows you to go through smaller ducts. The RBX series is an excellent return on investment. It's going to save you time and make you money. It's going to greatly reduce your electrical cost. It's going to reduce your maintenance cost and increase your performance. Please contact our sales team and we'd be happy to help you out.